Hey, it's the next video in the never ending series of my home PBX project. Let's get started. Apologies are in order, I think. Uh, first off, sorry for taking so long to post an update on this project. I just have had no time over the summer, and the fall has been really no different. Uh, so, sorry about that. Uh, this is a project that I really do want to get completed. I just haven't had any time. And uh, second, I'm really sick. So, if uh, either my voice sounds different, or uh, you might hear some coughing and hacking in the background, uh, I will try and keep that to a minimum. At any rate, uh, this box has been sitting in my office for a couple of months and um, this actually is an IP phone that I picked up on Amazon. Uh, this is a Nortel IP phone 1535. Picked this up for maybe 50 bucks, I can't really remember. Um, so let me get it out of the box and uh, I'll show you what's uh, inside. Alright, the box was actually shipped just like this uh, from Amazon and what is this a quick reference guide in English and whatever language that is the actual phone which is like in plastic pretty cool and let's see I haven't opened this so I can't I'm discovering what's inside here with you guys. That's kind of heavy. Some cables and a handset. Nothing else in the box. So here's the handset. And maybe this is an AC adapter, maybe. Yep, that's what that is. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Let me show you. See that plug? That is not an American style plug. Uh, but wait a minute. Take a look at that. I actually have one of these. Which it's got my standard American plug on the end. Hopefully that'll work. I'll have to check the voltage. See if there's anything I have to do here. Uh, no, I'll figure that out. Can't really do anything about it now because I ordered it such a long time ago that uh, it's not like I can return it or anything. So I Cat5 cable. Got plenty of those. Uh, I don't really know what this is. Uh, maybe a stand, probably. So let me get the phone out of the plastic and then I'll show you what that looks like. Here's what was in that plastic bag along with the phone. It's like a little rubber stopper. Which, I guess goes here. So you have your DC in, your uh, LAN port, and a uh, RJ11, but I'm not going to use that. So I'll pop that in there. Bottom of the phone is pretty boring. Uh, but that plastic stand piece actually fits over the back here like that and then that lets you uh, prop up the phone if you want to do that. Um, left hand side you've got your jack for your handset and what is this? Oh hey! Cool SD card. I'm not uh, sure what you would use that for but I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, this looks like it pops out. You can tell I did a ton of research on this phone because I don't really know what <laughs> what's there. What's that? Oh, it's a SIM card. Huh. Okay. I'll put that back. Uh, front of the phone has a camera, so you can actually do video conferencing. Um, what is that? That's a 1.2 megapixel camera. Uh, I think these buttons up here are probably some kind of menu buttons. You got some, I'm gonna guess, video conferencing on and off camera and maybe a menu button of some kind, some other action buttons. Uh, pick up and hang up, I guess, for speakerphone. 
and then your standard dialing buttons. Other thing I uh, should point out is that the camera itself actually swivels, which is kind of cool. I think the default uh, language for the menu system is in Turkish, of all languages. So, printed out some instructions on how to remedy that. So hopefully I can get through it. So let me plug power in and let's see what happens here. Oh, I saw a little flash there. Let me zoom in and see what happens here. Hey, look at that. Turk Telesum Telecom, it looks like. I heard something click. It sounded like a, a camera click or something. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. All right. Let me um, see if I can follow the instructions on uh, how to switch this to English, and uh, let's see what happens. All right. I didn't see anything happen. I plugged it, or before I unplugged it, just previously. Uh, it looked like it was going through like a boot process, and then it did like chime over and bring me to to a uh, little menu. Let me see if I can capture it again for you guys. And I'll cut all this stuff out. <laughs> it did take a little while. There you go. And uh, there's that. So let's see if I can't follow the instructions here. Press the left soft button to go into menu. I'm assuming that's the left soft button. Okay. Uh, obviously not a touch screen. Hmm. Alright, um, path to discovery here. Uh, what I did to get rid of that previous screen is I just picked up the handset, put it back down, and then it defaulted to this screen here. So you can obviously see uh, menu. That seems to be universal. So it says uh, hit the menu, scroll to, let's see, the whatever that word is, and then uh, hit select, which is that button. Whoops, we'll put this to the side here. Uh, select something, select that guy, and select dill whatever and then look for English. I hope that word means succeeded. Yay! Cool. I have a little confession to make and it actually has to do with a problem that I have but the problem is totally and wholly created by me and me alone. Um, if you remember back when I did the software install for my PBX server uh, there were a couple of instances where I actually had to keep track of passwords. There were various setup and admin passwords that you had to input during the system. Uh, I wrote all those down on a piece of paper on a notepad and of course, like a dummy, uh, I either threw out that paper or misplaced it somehow, but however you slice it, I don't have them. So I can't do the uh, web configuration that I need to do on the server. and. Uh, I actually need to reinstall PBX software on my server which is going to be a whole boatload of fun if you remember my last video having to do with that. Uh, that's that's sarcasm. At any rate, um, you know, I, I'm making a little progress because I unboxed this phone and of course I have to take a step back because I have to reinstall software but uh, whatever, what, what can you do? So I think that's about it guys. Uh, uh, new thing for me, I guess. Uh, I'm on uh, Twitter now, so for uh, high quality tweets, which is tweets is such a weird word, but at any rate, follow me on Twitter. You'll get updates on when videos are posted. And uh, of course, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.